As the holy season of Lent begins, President Joe Biden makes an unannounced stop to receive his ashes. Meanwhile, the White House COVID-19 response team says coronavirus cases have been going down for five weeks, but they also warn that there is a long road ahead. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. The White House COVID-19 response team made some key points today about older kids, high school kids, and teachers getting back in the classroom. But first, President Joe Biden took a brief uh, break today from his schedule so he could recognize the start of Lent. President Joe Biden departs the White House for Georgetown University this morning, where he met Catholic priests to mark Ash Wednesday. Also today, the White House responds to COVID-19. Press Secretary Jen Psaki with this announcement concerning testing. Today, our COVID response team also announced critical steps to expand testing in the United States. Earlier, the White House COVID-19 response team gave another virtual update offering some hope. There is a path out of this pandemic. But also realizing... Let me be very clear. We have much more work to do on all fronts. There's a growing push to get K through 8 schools open. For high school students, it's a different story. Part of the challenge, the team says older students are more at risk of disease transmission. They're similar to adults. Still, they can get back in the classroom. What I will say is there are opportunities for in-person learning in middle school and in high school through all of our layer, uh, levels of community spread. Just today, the White House announced it'll spend $650 million to expand testing opportunities for K-8 through schools. When disease comes into the school, is not because of spread that is happening in the school. It is because the members who are attending school, teachers, staff, bus workers and whatnot, bus drivers, um, have, have gotten disease from the community, not from one another in schools. When you talk about the danger of teachers getting infected, we know that when you talk about infection within the school setting, it's what really is going on in the community that is the risk of infection to anyone, including teachers. In addition, Dr. Fauci said not every teacher has to be vaccinated in order for school doors to reopen. Also, 1.7 million Americans on average per day are getting vaccinated, but the recent brutal weather across many parts of the country, including Texas, are no doubt slowing down those vaccination efforts. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.